Hello everyone and welcome to your reading. I'm going to go ahead and um, I have our spirit candle here for cleansing the energies and protection, but I am going to go ahead and lay a little bit of sage. Thank you very much for joining me today. And I will be doing a timestamp. So if you don't want to stick around for um, while I'm pulling the cards, you can drop down to the timestamps. Um, I have some oracle cards that I have pulled and then um, I will be pulling tarot as well. Um, I have some that I've already pulled um, just to kind of get the gist or the sense of how or who this reading should be for um, before I get started. Um, just kind of called to do that like pull a few cards I'm feeling like from what I've pulled there's some healing needed there might be um, someone dealing with a narcissist um, so and then I did pull the Scorpio card so Scorpio will be tagged in this so whether you're dealing with a Scorpio or you are a Scorpio and that's why you're here um, Scorpio is the death card and tarot so this could represent um, an ending that needs to happen um, so that a new beginning can occur as well. So let's go ahead and again if you don't want to be here for a while I'm pulling um, the last oracle card and then your tarot spread you can jump down to the timestamps and that will bring you directly to the reading itself. You are more than welcome to stay as I am pulling cards, so. The Lightworkers deck um, for empaths and energy healers. If you are interested in learning how to read tarot, um, this is a good beginner deck as well. I got it to um, I kind of resonate with the um, how do you want to put it? <laughs> It has um, key words for the upright and reversals, and I tend to, um, I was kind of looking at the deck, and um, I feel like I resonate with that, so I wanted to get it to help myself do reversals, so I can be um, a little more in tune with upright and reverse. Doing the reverse is any cards that stay down. That gets what gets flipped over. All right, so let's go ahead.
got our six cards. I'm going to go ahead and pull the bottom card. Three of Cups. Okay. So underneath the deck we have Three of Cups. Um, I'm going to get to that in a moment. However, I want to see where we are here. Wild Woman. <laughs> Number 62 that breaks down to an 8. The healing spell that we have is a purification ritual. So, um, it's taking a bath um, with the like a salt bath, cleansing bath. Um, I'll get into this a little more. It does have a prayer that you can say, um, but that will kind of be our healing message at the end. This is the Scorpio card that I pulled. Um, it's just basically the energy of Scorpio. It says intensity, exposing, purging, and renewing. So hence like the death card. You know, purging and renewal. Um, we have a feather card. I'm going to get to that at the end as well. All right, so here is the very first card I pulled was the Eight of Swords, or the Eight of Air. The illusion of entrapment. The lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless. Being afraid to take action. Take responsibility for your life now. Now she is going through a gateway that represents um, like a new path. However, the Eight of Swords is the feeling of I can't do this. Um, Overanalyzing the situation and just feeling like you see you don't see a way out. I do like how the gate is open and she is pulling the blindfold off. Um, so this was giving me when I was kind of preparing for the reading I pulled this card and immediately heard the word narcissist so that is um, the energy that I was feeling and hearing so we have two healing crystals here um, this one is kyanite So when you find yourself drowned out by that mental noise, so that can be that analysis paralysis feeling, even the greatest thinkers need to be reminded, thoughts are just thoughts. Reality is reality. You can deal with it like an anxious chihuahua, or you can get down with kyanite and align to the moment with your calm and cool intact. That is a very good healing energy for this energy here. Then we have smoky quartz. When you fall prey to emotional vampires, um, I was actually just talking about that in the light workers. If you are being like the um, a victim of you know, like the emotional vampires where you feel like you're exhausted all the time or someone is just constantly um, a victim or they're needing your help all the time or you're just around someone that drains your energy. Um, maybe check out that reading as well. But this says when you fall prey to emotional vampires, when you're just too spacey and can't even, like I just can't even do this, that's the I can't card as well. So both of these coming out for that to cleanse that energy is perfect when you're embarking on a spiritual journey or a journey to pick up your dry cleaning 
It says extra points if you're thinking, what's the difference? Um, ex you know, that, that whole thing. You could be going to pick up your dry cleaning and you get exhausted because you're maybe empathic and you're picking up other people's energy. And here's the other part. When the, I guess you would say, narcissists have this radar or sonar or whatever it is, to um, empaths usually end up being the victims of narcissists. So we have the wild woman over here. I need to grab that because that is, um, I believe, very... So if we're using the wild woman as the medicine for this reading, it says, this is a warning that you may be, tra that you may be trapped in obsessive thinking or behavior, looking for a release in places that will never provide it. Let go, lest become like the hungry ghosts of Chinese Buddhists lore that can never be fulfilled. True release comes from trusting the fluidity of life, understanding that just as a river needs its banks to flow, so too do you need boundaries around your thinking and behavior. Now is the time to simplify, be mindful, and connect to the light within. I'm kind of skimming over these other ones. So, the wild woman is kind of like the essence of the wild woman. She's the bright light in each of us um, that gets dimmed when we are restricted. So, if you're coming to this reading because you're resonating on the narcissist um, aspect of it, your light, your wild woman is being dimmed. Um, if you are coming here because you are just caught in the <clears throat> analysis paralysis, you're in a situation where you feel like I can't do this or you're overthinking and you're in your head too much, then that would be the warning, you know, that you're trapped in, she's coming to you because you're trapped in that obsessive thinking. Oh, I might go back to that in a little while here to read because it comes with the essence of the wild woman, the invitation where it's inviting you to, um, like the actual meaning of the card and then the medicine is what the healing she comes to bring healing you know like letting you know you're obsessing obsessively thinking and all of that so I think I'm going to keep this nearby and I might read the invitation of that towards the end of the reading so let's get into your cards so we have Go ahead and put these down here. Mm. So the cards can come up here. So we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. The Ten of Wands is like this heavy burden, but with that being in reverse, that's kind of like more responsibility put on us or an expected unex 
unaccepted we're not we're not accepting the responsibility um, so then we have the five of cups haunting loss This is, um, this can be like, you know, the glasses half empty kind of card, like we're in the pessimistic um, energy. But it can also be grief and loss. Um, it has many different levels to it. Um, it can just be kind of like feeling like the woe is me, crying over spilled milk. Um, I feel like is what's kind of going on with this energy of the reading where I feel like we're kind of feeling sorry for ourselves, and we're not really taking responsibility for what needs to be going on. Um, so I guess you would say those are both the two negative cards and then the this one as well kind of that entrapment um, feeling like we can't do something and then we have these really powerful cards we have the six of coins and that's um, a very giving card where things are equal give and take if we have excess, then we are helping others and we are giving. Or if we are in need, we are accepting. Then we have strong leader, you know, this emperor card. Eight of coins. This is mastering our skill, like working very, very hard. The eight of pentacles. Um, then we have the Knight of Swords. This is the fastest moving knight in the tarot out of all the knights. It says unstoppable force. So this is a fire energy. Now, these two cards, well, all of them, they could be very um, negatively aspected. If this is in the reverse, this is chaotic you know it's a it's a negative force instead of a good unstoppable force so you have things really working for you you know you're mastering your skill or you're acqu acquiring expertise on something um, we have this emperor this strong leader um, that can also be divine masculine there and that could be very if that is in reverse that could be very negative um, and then we have this equal give and take. So I feel like I might want to put the narcissist topic on the back burner here and go with the cards that we have where we are wow, look at this take responsibility for your life now and then this here is un unaccepted responsibility like we're not taking responsibility because we're lacking that confidence and we're feeling like we can't do this so it's like you need to take off the blindfold and stop over worrying or over analyzing um, you know that, that feeling helpless kind of thing and it could be because you're stuck in the past. You know, there's this haunting loss, you know, feeling like the one that got away, so to speak, or um, there's a feeling of stuck in, stuck in the past with this card. And I feel like that's kind of like We're not taking responsibility for what's going on right now. 
because we're you know maybe we're stuck in that to where we're I should have could have would have done something different so our mind is all over the place and we're not seeing what we're needing to deal with but then we have Osprey your success is now at hand allow the abundance to flow to you effortlessly so I feel like you are if you're being in the five of cups energy that's when we're being pessimistic um, and this is also the illusion of entrapment right so if the energies here where we're not really taking responsibility we're kind of stuck in the past um, we're nothing is able to flow you know like if there's success that's supposed to be coming in like we've got the six of coins here we've got the Emperor we have eight of coins we're mastering that and then there's this unstoppable force the time is now for you to have great things coming in and this is the only hang-up hmm so possibly a way to do a reset could be this purification ritual um, it says use the salts with a new loofah sponge and scrub yourself vigorously during the waning moon at midnight now cleansing baths and salt baths can happen anytime it doesn't have to be but if you're doing like the ritual and you're saying the prayer um, it says Isis in your wisdom help me reflect your image my body is a temple to the goddess here I worship today with head and hands heart and soul so it's to purify your body overall to enhance your circulation to exfoliate your skin kind of you know have this um, like a mind body spirit reset you know in this ritual I'm gonna go ahead and hold this up here if you wanted to pause the video and take a screenshot so you have the little um, cleansing ritual here if you wanted to do that okay so under the deck all in all we had the three of cups this is a time where we are getting together with our inner circle and that's another way to reset getting out with friends you're getting out of your head and you're kind of you know out with your inner circle celebrating having a girls night out or a guys night out um, that's what the three of cups is all about um, we're it's I feel like this is your time it's kind of unstoppable and then this wild woman card this is you're an unstoppable force um, a strong leader that is working hard to master um, master your skill um, acquire expertise to you know level up your education or your job whatever it is you're doing you're very hard working um, maybe you're going for management you know you want to become the leader we have you know money coming in this is I mean I I guess I should always start with the great thing so that I didn't lose you so hopefully you're still here um, in the reading however I want to start with we have this little hurdle you know and that you you have success at your hand right now so to you know not be your own worst enemy or um, 
kind of in a pessimistic attitude to where you could, um, you know, we always want to kind of be in our best self so that we're drawing in the good things and not, we don't want to have a blindfold on, so we're missing an opportunity. Um, or maybe this is like something that you've already been handed this, whatever this leadership role is, but you're not accepting it. We have this unaccepted responsibility. Maybe you don't want the heavy burden, um, but I feel like it's more so maybe it wasn't the exact position or whatever it is that you wanted. So you're, you're kind of in your head about not getting, you're in your head about the loss or whatever it is that you didn't get instead of accepting what you did get and that maybe that was you know you, the universe guiding you to what was the better fit for you all right is there anything else I want to grab here so the wild woman I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out again All right. So I want to read um, She, the Wild Woman, is a reminder of the bright light within each of us that gets dimmed by the restrictions imposed upon us by the expectations of society. She reminds us that in order to be fully present of life, we must uncover that light and let it shine brightly, regardless of the perceived consequences. So the invitation of this, when the wild woman comes to dancing in your reading, you're invited to shine brightly and to know that your true self is being called out to engage the world. This is a symbol that your long held dream is being is beginning to take root and wants to be expressed. Your authentic self doesn't fit in a box. It needs the freedom to shine. It's time to have courage and step into the light. The wild woman says, shine brightly, dance with abandon, be yourself and let the great spirit decide what happens. You'll be happy you did. And then the medicine part I already read, that's where, um, you know, the warning that you might be trapped in the obsessive thinking. Um, so we've kind of covered that as well. All right. So we have these crystal cards, you know, the smoky quartz and the kyanite. The perpetually restless is who needs this crystal. And then this is the glass half empty types. <laughs> and that's this, um, this is the glass half empty card. So isn't that something? So you want to, when you feel fall prey to emotional vampires or when you're feeling spacey or you're feeling like you just can't even do it. You want to this. This can... Um, the smoky court pairs the clarity inducing vibes of clear stones with the protective do not cross over this line vibes of the black ones so you have the smoky quartz where you have the 
the ones that protect you from the negative but it also gives you clear it's like you need both for that energy where it's like I need to clear my mind but I also need to protect myself so I'm not um, in that negative aspect so I'm going to go ahead and put this crystal over that energy to clear that energy out for you guys and then we have kyanite the perpetually perpetually restless so when you find yourself drowned out by that mental noise that is this here usually it's aspected a little bit more negatively in the tarot however I'm using an angel deck um, where it's analysis paralysis that mental noise even the greatest thinkers need to be reminded thoughts are thoughts reality is reality so instead of dealing with this like the anxious chihuahua you can um, maybe you know take a calming bath take a barefoot walk in nature um, so you can align yourself and come at everything with a calm cool um, attitude here so I'm gonna go ahead and take this this blue kyanite it's almost like calming the mental noise here so that's what we need to do to calm that energy and then the unaccepted responsibility Now, for some of you, this might, when I was reading The Wild Woman, this might, you know, The Wild Woman wants to kind of be free. She doesn't want to be tied down. So maybe this is something that, you know, you're purposely saying, I don't want this position or this responsibility, whatever it might be in your life. Um, I don't, that's not me. I like my freedom, you know. I have a gypsy soul I want you know that don't dim my light so to speak so I'm not accepting this responsibility because I already have enough on my plate so I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse this energy with the wild woman so we have success that will be able to flow effortlessly for you. Make sure you take time with your inner circle to socialize and get out there and dance. Because you are an unstoppable force that is very hardworking. You're a great leader and you know when you need to put your foot down you know you don't have to be rigid and strict and um, you know the button up I will corporate type in order to be in leadership to lead others um, and this looks like this is gonna bring in generous success for you so this is a beautiful reading I'm gonna go ahead and close this out um, I hope this has helped uh, maybe what you're going through at this time, brought some clarity or some healing ideas for you. So I thank you very much and I will catch you in my next one.